Hey, shalom, hey, shalom. On the staff, souls, but give no praise to our Bashem, Yah Shai. The Bolan is supposed to GMS and honest to brothers doing the work in truth, one sincerity. I'll do a real quick one. This is on um, uh, reincarnation, right? So it was uh, Hebrew 7 and 27. It says, He who needeth, in, in reference to Yah Shai, right? You can read up, um, you know, for, for you, you know, if you just get more, <coughs> a bit more of the context. It says, who needeth not daily as those high priests to offer up sacrifice, first for his own sins and then for the people's, for this he did once when he offered it up himself. Right? But then you read the scriptures, right? Yahweh Shah never went off, so what's this talking about? Or right, it says, uh, 1 John 3 and 5, it says, and you know that he was manifested to take away our sins and in him his no sin. So, you know, so it looks like the Muslims were right. It looks like the Bible does contradict itself, right? But anyone who says the Bible contradicts itself just doesn't understand the scriptures, right? And reincarnation is fundamental to understanding the scriptures because without reincarnation, that means the Most High is a lie, means the yeah, shines a lie, means that the whole book, you know, if the Most High is a lie, then man, man, we just close the damn book, right? Then we read Numbers 23, 19, says the Most High is not a man that he should lie, Neither the son of man that he should repent, hath he said, and he shall not do it, or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good, right? So it's basically saying the most is not a man that he should lie, right? So what he and it goes on to basically say that if the Lord says he's going to do something, that thing is going to happen, right? So that's a direct precept with Isaiah fifty five eleven. It says, "So shall my word be that goeth." forth out my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the thing where where to that i sent it right and one of the things that yahweh bashim yahushai said was um this in second samuel 7 and 14 says i will be his father in fact let me read up from verse 12 it says and when thy days be fulfilled and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers basically when you when you're in the spirit world i will set up thy seed um, King Solomon, after thee, which shall proceed out of thy bowels, and I will establish his kingdom. Right, he shall build an house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. Right, he says I will be his father, and he shall be my son. If he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men and with the stripes of the children of men. Right, so basically saying, look, King Solomon is going. Who who built the, the house of the Lord, King Solomon? Right, and did he go off? Yes, he did go off. Right, this is uh first Kings. In fact, let me open that in a new tab. In a new tab. Well, this is First Kings eleven from the top. Says, but King Solomon loved many strange women, together with the daughter of Pharaoh, women of the Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Zidonians, and Hittites, of the nations concerning which Yahweh said unto the children, Ye shall not go in unto them, neither shall they come un unto you, right? For they shall turn away your heart after their gods. Solomon claimed these in love. But yeah, because the Lord says you ain't supposed to marry a woman of the other nations, right? She's, you know, supposed to just be a concubine. If you are, because you can. Sorry, my, my throat's a bit messed up. <clears throat> but, um, yes, yeah, you know, they say, uh, Scripture says you ain't supposed to, um, uh, would you call marry the woman of these other nations? You can only, um, just deal with them as, as concubines, right? And then, um, uh, you know, basically, it's how you deal with a prosy, you go, you hit it, you dip. No, no emotions attached. You're just a fuck buddy, literally. Um, and you just get it as you want, no no calling required, right? Um, so, you know, none of that emotional bond uh, connection, right? It says, um, uh, uh, verse 3 says, And he had 700 wives, princes, and 300 concubines, and his wives turned away his heart. The puzzle broke it down. You know, it actually says wives, is. so that was his, um, these Israelite women, right? It says, For it came to pass when Solomon was old that his wives turned away his heart after other gods, as his heart was not perfect with Yahweh, his 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 God, and as and as was the heart of David his father, right? And then so what? So for Solomon went after Ashtoreth, the goddess of the Zidonians, and after Milcom, the abominations of the Ammonites, which is direct contravention of uh, of of the law, man.
in Exodus 20, right, says, uh, Exodus 20 verse 3 says, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. So there we've proven that King Solomon went off. And then the, 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 the punishment for that was that he shall be chastened with the rod of men. But he wasn't. However, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai was sinless. Yet he was chastised with um with the rod of men. Right, which is why it says here, which is basically the breakdown of this verse in Hebrews seven and twenty seven, talking about how um you know he had sin. Whereas this scripture said he had no sin. So which one is it? And the explanation for that is there in uh, in Second Samuel. Right, Second Samuel seven and fourteen. Right, and also a, a, a quick and easy breakdown because these, you know, the spirit has a way, but you have scriptures that are in your face, right? And then you just need someone to, uh, you know, break it down. You know, the scriptures talk about if you have the need of a teacher, you, um, you know, you have the need that one teach you again, rough, very roughly paraphrasing, right? And you know, this is why we we, we did give double honors to apostles because they, you know, through them, Yahweh Al Shai has helped to see the breakdowns of these scriptures. <clears throat> well, it says Matthew 1 and 1 It says the book of the generation of Yahweh Shah Mashiach The son of David That's just straight there Yahweh Shai You know who in the world they do Because Jesus Christ is the son of David And also the son of Abraham now, So the scriptures are telling you there That Yahweh Shai is both King Solomon and Isaac Right, just straight up. Now this is Matthew twenty four thirty three. It says, "So likewise ye, when you so like so at the top of these of this verse, right, basically says um verse three says, and he, as he sat upon the mount of olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be? Basically, when, when when's the end of the time? Because one scripture talk about hastening the day, when we ain't supposed to want to be staying here for you know however long." Was supposed to want to um, get the hell up out of here. He said, and Yahweh Shah answered and said unto him, Take heed, no man deceive you. Um, you know, so we just go down, you know, talks about rumors and rumors of war. You had that then, um, you know, just get 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 to the get to the point. Right, it says, And this kingdom goes to pull them all the world for witness, and that's happening now. Right, because you've had bits of this that have happened throughout time, but really, the, the whole teaching the world the truth throughout the whole world has really happened um recently through through the advent of the internet right now so it says in verse 33 says so, so likewise when you shall see all these things know that it is near even at the doors verily i say unto you this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled right but this you know that generation did pass the you know the apostles then you know, they went into the spirit world and they came back, right? It says a generation, um, implication and age. It says age, generation, age, and time, you know. But, um, uh, but, but you know, that's, uh, that's, yeah, hey, I made the points. Like, I'm not 100% at the moment, right? It says, um, you know, so I basically collected some, Priest of some reincarnation, if he writes, you got one and seven and fourteen, second Samuel, right? You've also got Job fourteen and fourteen says, If a man dies, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. And the Lord said unto um my Lord Oh shit now you say see this one's uh, another um one for second Samuel seven and fourteen. Right, it says the Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand until and make thine enemies thy footstool, right? So the Lord as Yahweh was sent unto my Lord Yahweh Shai, right? You got it there, man. Um, Ecclesiastes three sixteen says, "Moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment that wickedness was there, right? And the place of righteousness that uh, that uh, iniquity was there. In fact, there's they, um, oh, oh, forgot where it was, um." But uh, but yeah, you know, you you get the point. You get the point. Oh, and here, here, here Job Nine's a good one because Job Nine proves that the apostles had an understanding of of uh, what do you call it? 
had the understanding that um uh, of of reincarnation why right? so job nine and the John nine and two says and his disciples asked him saying, Master, who did sin this man or his parents that he was born blind? Yahushai answered, Neither hath this man sinned, nor his parents, that the works of the Mosai should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me, while it is uh, it's like a completely missed the point. Yahushai answered, uh, Neither hath this man sinned, nor his parents. Right? But that the works of the Mosai should be made manifest in him. But basically saying, look man, this man isn't, uh, this way because of things that, have, that he's done in his past lives right but rather he's um he, he's disappointed the Lord just made it such that he was jacked up you know to, to show the power of the Lord right? but this there is proof that they had understand that you know you come back and you come back and you come back you know in the third and fourth generation um but uh but yeah like I said just uh want to um just wanted to share that with you, that I'm a social one.